We are located in Noblesville, Indiana, which is about 10 miles north of Indianapolis. This facility is 1.6 million square feet. Uh, we can probably at the moment fit four aircraft carriers in it. Uh, the facility is divided about half warehouse and half production facility, and it's about a half a mile from one end to the other. The core products that we manufacture here are pneumatic cylinders, FRL, filter regulator, lubricators, and valve manifold assemblies. So there are around 15 pneumatic cylinder product series. Some of those tubes are cut to length. Others are machined in another facility. Piston rod production is, we are taking a finished, polished ground carbon steel rod, putting it into a bar-fed lathe, and at that point, we're cutting it to a specific length. And then on each end of it, we are machining the piston mounting end and then the customer mounting end. We machine each of those components to length, quantity for the order, measure those, inspect them, and then feed those off to a cleaning operation where they're washed and then delivered to the consolidation area. So inside the consolidation area, uh, the consolidation operator is scanning each individual component that comes from different picking areas around the facility into a consolidation tub. The, the parts will arrive one by one because they're picked from different parts of the facility. They then pick the paperwork and then deliver that off to the assembly line for assembly. So the first step of the assembly process, the operator is going to do an analysis of what it is they're manufacturing. They're going to read their work instructions. After reading their work instructions, then they're going to uh, select the appropriate grease, apply grease to the seals, grease the tube. Then after that, they're going to put the piston rod assembly together. So they're going to take the piston, apply that to the piston rod, go to the crimping operation and crimp the piston rod assembly. Then they'll put all the seals in place, put the cover onto the tube assembly, and then put the snap rings on. Once that's completed, then they'll go to a testing operation. Then they will test the assembly, making sure that there's no leaks. Then they're gonna take that assembly over to a final inspection where they will validate, again, the work instructions. They're going to uh, apply labels and foot mounts and any type of other accessories that might be on the assembly and then take it to the pack station where then it ships. We produce around seven different product series of valve manifold assemblies. Uh, most of the variability in the valve manifolds is the number of stations. Uh, you can buy anything from a single station all the way up to around 20 stations per manifold. Uh, they are consolidated similarly to the way that the cylinders are consolidated. The components are coming in uh, from our picking areas. Again, once all those components arrive, the components are delivered to the assembly line. The uh, operator again reads the work instructions of what is unique about that assembly. They start by applying the fittings to the manifold block. They will also assemble and add any valves that might be in part of that assembly torquing those down to the specific torque requirements. Once that assembly is completed, it also is leak checked. So we're looking for leaks in that assembly. The assembly then moves on to a validation station where the final inspector is going to review, making sure that the work instructions match the assembly that they have. It then moves on to a packaging station where it is then packaged and then sent to the central warehouse for shipment. Motion Industries is the largest distributor for SMC in North America. We utilize them as a partnership. They supply orders for us for MRO, and then we quickly respond to those by shipping them out in a few days. Motion does have the relationship with the customer, so we need to make sure that the customers are getting the product that they need and they're getting it quickly and, and their needs are met for whatever project that they're working on. With that relationship, they're able to bring SMC into the picture to support whatever the needs of the customer are in, the, in that local market.